Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So I am making four little postcard size abstract art pieces today with lots of movement and these were very quick. They came together so fast. So this is flax beige watercolour and I also use black, white, yellow ochre and that's all the colours I use. Um, I also have lots of movement in these little abstract arts. Well, two of them end up retaining the movement. Two of them lose it a bit. So this is just fluid acrylic paint, yellow ochre. So what's happening is when you put that into that watery watercolour, it just kind of spreads its colour out quite fast. And it's quite fascinating to watch. So this here that I'm using is white acrylic ink. However, it's 95% water <laughs> because it was running out. So just kept topping it up with water. The point is, anyway, I'm using a mixture of water with these acrylic inks and that watercolour to try and create the basis of the picture. So you can see here there's just lots of movement and I'm really... Although I'm angling the card, I'm really trying to let the movements be quite fast to so that it's quite uh you can see there's movement in those you know the yellow areas. So this is white acrylic ink, proper white acrylic ink, and I'm just adding that into the watery area. Now this is quite thick, so it flows quite slowly. And because I've moved the water about and off the edges, there's less of a river for it to run in. So that acrylic ink moved slower. And what I'm doing now, because I don't want to just create a pale yellow ochre, I want there to I want white areas and yellow areas to remain. I am moving these quite gradually, slow movements slow movements and then I tap it off the table. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this. So we've got this strong movement dynamic shape and then what I'm trying to do now is just enhance that shape. I'm using this neutral limited palette as part of the colour um, combo for the month in the Facebook group Makers of Mixed Media Art which is run by PM Artist Studio. So this is my month's contribution. So this is then mostly dried. Now the paper that I had underneath those little postcards, I had actually scrawled words on earlier on. For some reason, it was the name of an Elvis Presley song, Suspicious Minds. Don't know why I wrote that. Can't explain it. <laughs> anyway, that's was underneath those little postcards so it's got drips and drops of the colours we've been using. It's also got that black scroll with the a china marker. So that's what I'm using to add collage to these pictures. But what I'm doing is I purposely wrote in quite a large scroll to begin with so that I had lots of loops and lots of, you know, but it changes direction, that sort of feeling. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to continue that 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 dynamicness and I'm linking the collage to the yellow shape that I've created. So here it this to me it looks like a couple of animals kicking a football and that black loop that we've added on with the collage just enhances that. So that's what I, that's how I am applying the collage to these. This collage is sketchbook, sketching paper, drawing paper. It's fifty GSM. Um, it's quite it's quite translucent actually. And I like the way that once it's stuck down onto that um, three hundred GSM watercolor paper that I'm using. But actually, it really does blend into the white background. So these were honestly, these were amazing. 
um, they just came together so quickly. Once I've finished the collage, um, what I'm going to do is use handmade stamps that I made in the last video. I'm just using matte medium to put this down with as well. So here that's like a, a sort of horseshoe shape and what I'm doing is I'm I'm kind of mimicking the look, the loop that's been made and making it even stronger. This one's not so dynamic, I don't think. I can see it starting to lose its movement. So now what I'm using is black acrylic ink and I am finding an end of the black scrolls and then continuing it on. So this black acrylic ink, you know, because it's dry, it's not got anything to flow through. So I'm just adding a bit of water at the back of it there and then it just runs I don't catch all this in the camera. I'm sorry, I kept pulling it too close to me. Again, do you see how it runs? And then what I do with this is I, while it's still wet, is I put paper on top and just press down. This was actually, as soon as I touch it with the water, I know it's just going to run. I never put it on camera, what I did, but I'm just showing you here. Put the paper on top and just press your hand right over it. So, they, these are the handmade stamps. Now, I will link the video. I just, um, they were easy to make. So, that's black and yellow ochre acrylic paint put out on the gel plate and what I've done is just tried to not over mix it so that there's some separation in the colours still I think these, these wee stamps just make these pictures that was my favourite picture, the one I've just put the triangles on And this one I think looks like a badger. And that's the same stamp. And what I'm doing is I'm just extending it to make it look as if it's quite tall. Now, I'm adding in the badger stamp again to this one. And I'm making one smaller and then I'll make one taller. And so that it looks like, it's almost like they're going down an escalator. They're moving slowly down. But then the animals above them kicking the ball look very fast. And I like the kind of the opposite effect they have with each other. Unfortunately, I go in and trying to enhance that, I just demolished it. And we did a bit of a repair job. But you live and learn. And when I take this off of here, this stamp, this is the final thing I do to this picture because I just thought it was amazing and I cannot believe how quickly it came together. It makes me think of people watching, waiting for a really big, significant event to happen. This one as well. When I finish with this stamp, um, that's it finished. It's like a bird dive bombing and doing loop-de-loops. There, love it. So, the two at the top though, 
they're just not quite there yet. So, um, a lovely viewer, Fred, said to me, try the paint guard. Oh, it was great. It really helped me make straight lines. So here, you can't see what I'm doing, but I added in white acrylic ink and then I'm using a bit of flow medium. It's really just like using water. I just thought I would see how it would react with it. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring the white side and the, basically I tried to mute one third of that picture and then I'm trying to bring a bit of that through to the black tangle that's in front of the badger just to try and mute that back. Um, it's still not. I mean, I think it's quite, it's okay. I add more collage to it. Oh, this one. I just ruined it. I've not ruined it. I've changed it. But we repair it with collage. So once I've added the collage onto these two, that is them finished. And whilst I didn't feel that they were as successful as the first two, I think overall as a group, I was really pleased and I could not believe how quickly these came together. I do feel like I learned about less is more with this um, this little um, series today. So that's them there. So thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you soon and take care. Bye.